Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to take you through the process of using Google Classroom effectively. Uh, so make sure before you start, you are signed in with the Zabist given ID. So I've been assigned this ID by Zabist. I've signed in. If you're not familiar, you can Google or either type Google, uh, classroom.google.com. So I go there. So as a faculty, see, I have all of these classes to um, manage what I'm teaching. So if you want to create a class, which you would be doing, you go here on this plus sign, create class. You can put in a class name. So let's say, section C sections. graphic design home let's say lab so I have created the class now what you need to uh, make sure that all your students are there on the class um, that you are um, assigning you can do it uh, in two ways. See, uh, there is a class code. So you can copy this, this code. You can copy this code and share it with all your uh, students or you can copy invite link. So link copied and then you, when you share this link, um, students will click on this link and join or they will join the classroom by typing in this code. So this is the stream. Uh, you can post assignments, create schedules. Um, students can post things and you can respond to them. Um, you can address queries here. You can start a discussion. So this is where you're going to everything that you post uh, will be updated on this stream. In classwork, you can create assignments. So for example, I create an assignment. So assignment, quiz assignment, questions, material, discussions that can happen. So I create an assignment. Project 1, I'll give an in, uh, instruction. So brief can be um, put here. So you can brief that assign whatever the details of the assignment here. You can add material if you want them to watch any YouTube video that can be added. You want to add uh, files here for reference. You can do that in links. Anything that you want to connect on Google Drive that, that you are keeping there for students to uh, look at, um, you can do it from here. You can assign uh, to all students or I don't have any students right now, but there a list of students would come here. And you can assign assign uh, assignments to particular students as well. If you're taking multiple classes, so for example, you're taking two sections of design practices, you can click both the classes and the assignment will be posted on both classes that you have clicked. Uh, points is the marks that you have assigned for this. So let's say I have 10 points. I can, um, so due date, time is optional, but you can put in time. After this time, whoever submits, the assignment will be marked late um, by um, the classroom. So you will know who has um, you can set the rubric, you can create rubric, so whatever the criteria are, whatever the levels are, you can do it from um, here. Uh, you can use a rubric that you have defined um, before, um, so that you can do that. Um, and then you can check plagiarism on assignments, but there is a limitation. You can check plagiarism only thrice in a Google Classroom. So yes, it is a tool that can be used, but it has its limitations. So let's say you have assigned, and um, this is this is how you assign um, assignments to or quizzes or whatever you want to. Um, you will have all your students in this and uh, then the grades. I will show you a class that I already have um, sort of taught. So let's say, um, so you have an idea
side. So this is a stream. I make assignment uh, announcements here. Classwork is posted here. Um, whatever the due dates that you have put would appear on Google Calendar as well, uh, automatically on yours and of students as well. And then, see, I have all the students. I have my co-teachers here as well. And then um, I have all the students. I can select students um, and then define, so let's say, I want to email remove or mute, I can do that. And with the same with the teachers. If I want to add students, um, I can go here and share the link with them or type their email addresses here. And this is uh, where I will be grading assignments. So all the assignments that I have given, see? So all the assignments and grades will appear in this sheet and the total how much. You can share these numbers uh, with the students. Uh, so for example, I want to take the student, let's say I go to this for. So he has submitted all of this. So these are the assignments. So let's say I want to check this. So you can go through this assignment from here. You can add a private comment if you want to. If the assignment is graded, uh, your marks, uh, you can grade it here and then you return. So when you return, all the comments that you have made, made say, so you can make comments. So all the comments that you have made, would, when you return the assignment, student would know. Um, so let's say, From here, how many have turned in? What what assignments he has turned in? Here will be the assignments which you have returned to the students, and here will be the list of assignments uh, which are missing by the student. So it sort of Google Classroom sort of summarizes what you are doing. You can email the student. Okay, one more thing that you can do is you can go onto a class folder. So whatever students submit is saved on Google Drive and you have unlimited space for Google Drive so see all the assignments are here whatever the student has submitted is in his uh, folder everything that you post in class uh, would be on your Google Drive in a classroom folder Um, grades, you can grade, grade the student, but student will not, so for example, I give him 90 marks, so, yeah, so it is saved, but student wouldn't know unless you share it, if, unless you return the assignment, um, so you will say return of your submission. If you return, then student will find out what marks has been assigned to him or her. Um, you can sort by first name, you can sort by last name. So if there are, if you explore, there are a lot of things that um, Google Classroom um, helps, helps you with. This is the setting. You can change the name of the class. Uh, you can also create Google uh, Meet um, links from here so you can generate that and share it with students for online classes so you can explore google classroom it's quite easy to use and it is very effective when it comes for comes to assignments uh, uh, keeping track of the submissions giving them briefs giving them reading material um, so you can share multiple types of files as well you can share links um, announcements student can ask you question uh, you have to check for updates um, as um, students post um, and yeah this is how you use um, good classroom thank you